हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अर्न आई टी टूडे सेशन आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरेक्टिव फिल्टर्स फॉर रिपोर्ट दैट आर यूज इन डैशबोर्ड इन अवर लास्ट सेशन आई हैव शोन यू हाउ वी हैव एडिड द रिपोर्ट्स इन द डैशबोर्ड्स प्लीज वॉच माई वीडियोज टिल द एंड फॉर कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड फर्दर एंड सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एंड यूज इंटरेक्टिव फिल्टर्स विद इन डैशबोर्ड फॉर द रिपोर्ट्स all right so let's proceed further and see how we can create those interactive filters first we will open our dashboard what what dashboard contains so this is my dashboard my learn it dashboard so here we have change request and we have incident report in another tab all right so we will use this incident report uh we will use interactive filters and we will try to create some interactive filters for the report and now we will see how we can uh, redirect and how we can use our interactive filters within the report so you have configuration uh, button here and then you click on add widget and then under favorites uh, under widget category we have interactive filters interactive filters we would be having multiple options from here so currently i will show you how we can create interactive filters and how you can utilize within this report all right so let's proceed further and try to create interactive filters for this incident report so first i will redirect to our interactive filters so you can see there is a option interactive filters so now i will open this in a new tab and you can see there are multiple interactive filters which are already created all right so what type of filter i can create i can create a filter based on any field which is presented in this report all right so i will use this field uh, category field to create a interactive filters for this report first all right so what i will do is like i will click on new button here and you can see our form is loaded here now i will select the option choice list because this category is type of choice list so choice list will be selected here all right and now i will use there are multiple option like filter based on choice list reference date group boolean cascading filter but i will be utilizing choice list because i am applying interactive filters for category field so i will give a name here learn it uh learn it category learn it category filter and now what i will give the name look up name would be i will add same learn it category filter and now you can select apply to all tables in hierarchy or you can apply both database views and tables and now here there is a ui control type so i can select radio button check boxes select multiple input right so what i will do is like i will try to add check boxes first and show you how you can display uh, these type of uh, interactive filters and how you will see this filters under the reports so now i have used in, in uh, ui control type as check boxes now i will select the table name table name is incident so incident and the field would be category and now i will click on submit that's it our learn it category filter is created all right now we will try to add this interactive filters in our dashboard so what we will do is like we will again come back to our dashboard and we will click on our configuration button and then we will click on widget category button and then we will click on interactive filters and then you can see we have multiple options that were showing under that interactive filter so we have created fi interactive filter of type choice list so we will click on choice list and here you will see our uh, let me search it okay 
I know why it is not coming so let me try to uh, reload it and now I will click on interactive filters again so now you can see this is our learn IT category filter so I will click here and you will see this will display like this and I will click on add so you can see this is the filter which is displaying under our report so now you can see there are 16 incident displaying all right with the category hardware inquiry network and suppose I will remove all so I will see only one because none is select uh, because empty is only one incident and suppose if I click on inquiry it will come incident with related to category inquiry and if I click on inquiry and software you will get both the incidents all the incident of uh, category inquiry help and software all right similar way we can change the UI of this filter as well so suppose this is the category filter and now we will try to see how other option can be utilized so suppose I am selecting here multiple input so just see how it will appear there so I have changed this UI control type as select multiple input we will try to reload this dashboard again and see what has happened to our interactive filter and now you can see this is interactive filter which got changed and you can select the multiple options from the drop down and you can just reduce this size as well I will go into configuration and you can reduce the size also and suppose I will select as software so it will show software and none uh, incident I have clicked on software then I will see only software incident so this is the interactive filter which can be utilized uh, to create a filter for your report under your dashboard because there is no uh, can, uh, there is no option to create uh, add a filter here all right that's why we have to create interactive filters for dashboard reports and if suppose uh, this interactive filter is not working so you have to check uh, whether this act as interactive filter is checked or not so you have to check this act as interactive filter this should be checked otherwise interactive filter will not work and in report or as well you have to check this follow interactive filter all right so that this uh, interactive filter will work for your report alright so now I will create another type of uh, interactive filters suppose I will create it for assignment group and assignment group is a reference field so I will show you how we can create uh, this interactive filter for reference field alright so I will click on new button again and I will click on reference field here and then I will try to create learn IT assignment group filter I will copy the same name under lookup name and then I will add as multiple input only because there would be lot of users and I will add checkbox it will create so much of a scrolling so I will select multiple input for reference and for reference table here now here you have to see carefully what we have to add under this reference table under this reference table we will use group this user underscore group and we will save it we can add our condition as well whatever condition is required but we will not add here because already report is created on backend and some filter will be already applied there and now this record is created but it will not work because this is the type of reference and we have reference to group now group has displayed here now we have to create the interactive filter reference from which table you have to get the data 
so we will create a interactive filter references here so we will scroll down and we will see there is a interactive filter references so we will create one references here and the table is uh, incident now here we have to add our table incident and the field is assignment group and now i will click on submit all right so i have created this filter interactive filter for reference field assignment group so let's see how it works in our reports so what i will do is like uh, first i will remove uh, first i will remove this uh, interactive filter for category and now i will try to add interactive filters for our reference field so this is our uh, filter interactive filter which we have created so i will click here and it will display like this so i will click on add and i will uh, move this upside and now you can see there are 16 incident with the uh, empty assignment group or some assignment group all right so here all is selected now here we can select our assignment group suppose uh, let us check first whether uh, interact yeah it is already checked act as interactive filter so now what we will try to search a service desk here so if i click on service desk you will see only three incidents are displayed here for p1 incident report right so suppose we will remove this and you will see all the incident which are in p1 state and uh, for assignment group network also we can add here network so it will show the incident which has assignment group network so yeah so this is a really wonderful feature uh, we can apply some filter for our uh, reports in dashboard right so this is quite good uh, thing which can be utilized to generate some interactive filters with our reports which is uh, sometimes required by our managers or technical leads right so this is very important thing right so yeah that's all about interactive filters so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it